Well, I'm just gonna skip the intro. Hello guys, welcome back to some more Nintendo Month, and this time we're doing another Legend of Zelda game. Last time we did Ocarina of Time, I think? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, but this time we'll do Majora's Mask. And Majora's Mask is a little different from Ocarina of Time. Same as controls based, but a little bit more deeper, darker, and you wanna really think of this game when you wanna, when you play it. You gotta think outside the box of games these days. But with this game, it really has it all. It has the storyline, it has the controls, it has all of it in it. And it has a really dark side of it, actually. It even has a creepypasta of its own, and actually two of them. So let's get down to business. The storyline of this game is a school kid, uh, just a school kid. Uh, he has really no real name, but he stole a mask from the uh, mask salesman. If you remember from Ocarina of Time, there's a mask salesman that makes you do a mask whole trading sequence. Well, he's in this game too, and a school kid steals the most powerful mask used by voodoo Satanist type things called Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask holds secret powers only the people who wear them can you know, and it's it's really weird, and you're not yourself when you wear it, and you like rule the world and stuff. It's really creepy, and uh, here's the uh, introduction sequence of the game. It it gets really scary once it goes to the clock tower, which is the center, uh, the epicenter of the game, and um, it's really weird. So let's let's just get into this game. Um, I'm just gonna let you guys watch the uh, intro to it, and see Skull Kid is right there. If anybody has ever played this game, it's it's pretty scary and stuff. Uh, actually, it is pretty scary. There's a moon that's about to crash into the earth. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's the freaking scary moon. It's so freaking scary. God, get down. It scares me to this day. When I played this game when I was seven, it just scared the fuck out of me. And, um, yeah, I'm going to press start right now. All right, since I already have a file named Dave, I might use it just to give you some retrospect of what this game looks like. Now, this is the first Zelda game ever to use, uh, the type of day, uh, programming it has. You have basically days to solve this problem, and... The problem is, well, the moon's gonna crash into the earth. And where is that holy moon? Uh, moon, moon, oh, moon, moon. Oh my Jesus, it's over there. Yeah, it just scares me. But first, the Deku kids uh, basically turn to do with this Deku child, and uh, he steals a Pona. Uh, it's very scary. And there's a there's a tar piece up there. I want it. Oh man. But whatever. Uh, if you guys have any opinion about this game, uh, let me hear it. Um, let me hear when you played it, how'd you play it, how was it, and basically your review in general. Leave those in the comments, and that would just be grand of you guys to do. I mean, what are you guys here? But oh my gosh! No, no fairy! No, no balls! Oh, actually, that's an that's another side quest. But well, whatever. There's a frog. Frog. Froggy. Whatever. So really, I don't really want to play this whole game. But I might do a walkthrough on it someday. I actually played through the whole game, so I know what to expect from it. But I don't know as well as Locker in a Time, which is a pretty good game also. So, thanks guys for watching. And also, please subscribe, like, and comment if you haven't yet. Stay tuned for more Nintendo Month. There's only two weeks left. And... Stay tuned for the finale of my Master Quest walkthrough. Uh, coming tomorrow, I guess, I think. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, three days to solve the moon crashing into the... Yeah, I'm right, but whatever. If you have any questions about the game, you can probably ask me. Uh, whatever. <laughs> so, just watch me swirl around like this. Look at this guy. Oh, what the heck. Oh, look. He's, he's just like a guy I know from... He's the carpenter. Oh, my God. Posters and eyes, so you can show. Ah, whatever. So, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time.